gets the walker coming over in the great migration. And uh, they're going to be on that uh, one and they're going to play to the road and head down to McDonald's. No, <laughs> Rugby really. League. That's the, uh, the vehicle tonight, Pano. So it looks like Auckland are, uh, are going to kick off and they're going to play from right to left. Chilly night down here in Pukete uh, Fiddle Park, uh, JD. Uh, no, I have no doubt there'll be a little bit of dew on that ball uh, yeah, a little bit later on. Handling conditions are maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit slippery, but it looks like uh, yeah, Auckland just uh, getting the tee out there now, the runner, and uh, yeah, good crowd here, good crowd in Moy. It's, it's a lovely night, no excuses. Yeah, if you're a bit of the far note stuck around, yeah, it's good to yeah. have yeah, some, uh, yeah, albeit cold, uh, some clear weather, play some good footy under. So it's Auckland kickoff. It goes down into the right-hand corner. It looks like a big uh, Komar Sampson returning from France, taking the first hit up, and he's going to play it 20 metres infield and on the 20 metre mark. Tackle two. Fellow prop. Tony Tuya. Been a Māori uh, player for a number of years now. 30 metres out from his goal line. That's the third play of the ball. Spreading the ball to the left. Tony Tui is a workhorse and uh, he's usually in there for at least two hit-ups. As here he is, taking the second hit-up off the set of six. And, uh, uh, he, will, he will go all day while he's out in the field. Fifth and final, that's a good set. Uh, getting to a completion. They're uh, putting a kick in down as Carlos Hutini down into the end goal of the uh, Auckland side. Is it going dead? Yes, uh, rolls dead in and will start with a tap on the 20. So a good set, good opening set. A lot of these guys will know each other too while playing each other, you know. Yeah, yeah. indeed, indeed. Mm. I mean, yeah, they're all they're very, Foxcom? Yeah, all very familiar with each other, both on both sides. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, you know, another game for them all uh, to, to, to show them on, especially in the, the Māori side. So Auckland coming down the left edge. Oh, getting close to the sideline. No, he's... Uh, and staying in the field of play is uh, Ulia Alupupu. Okay. Messi Fuji with a quick play of the ball there. See him and Ritzlaff. And Herman Ritzlaff has probably got the biggest mode out of anybody on that field. Ten metres into the, uh, the New Zealand Māori half go Auckland. They get to a final. And uh, Uasi puts the kick down from the Papakuro Papa, uh, Seagulls down at the back. And now uh, returning the ball is Machu Stone Dunn from the uh, Napui. And playing out of the Richmond Club in Auckland, so uh, he's playing uh, both good clubs opening sets. Yeah, but both clubs achieving their first up and up uh, goals of completing their first sets. So a little arm wrestle in place right now. Oh, so a good hit up and good hit. maybe suggestion of a, of a shoulder charge by. Yes, referee mm -hmm. Kenawaiko coming mm -hmm. in after that hit up from. Uh, Dylan Moses, the Māori captain, yeah, no arms used in the tackle, so they'll get a penalty maybe about 12 metres in their side of halfway to the Māori team. Kina Waikai uh, riffing up in Auckland and out of the Waikato, Rahui Pokeka. So it's uh, Wax, Jeremiah Pai kicking the ball. Good kick, finds uh, 10 metres inside the Auckland side of halfway now, and uh, they'll go tap young uh, Manuipu, the hooker, just going to retrieve the ball. And it'll be the Māori's, I'm no doubt, to hit it up, and uh, here comes Dion Snell by the looks of it. No, we... It was Cody Tower who made that hit up before JD. Oh, drew, drew yeah, a yeah. penalty and uh, me, he's a big kid. Uh, For a winger, right, yeah, closest, yeah, closest winger to us. So. Mm. Yeah. It's Tony Tuya. So getting in some early work, getting into his work nice and early. Like the forwards to get a feel of the ball, why? Yeah, Coming back a, towards the post. Makes up a lot of metres, Tony Tuya. Nice run. Now 15 metres out from the touch on other Māori, they're spreading. Now he's going from dummy half, Manu Wipu pushes off on push. He's going to go, oh, he's close, he's held up. Manu Wipu, that's good yards out of the dummy half. I think that's the fourth tackle. Stretch the Auckland defence. Hello. The play of the ball's not the quickest one I've seen, and the ball comes out to the left. A little chip for the corner. Taken in the end goal. Yeah, yeah. Just a metre out from the try line, the Auckland are going to have to run it up. They're hard on their line now, and the Māoris are going to jam in on the fence. The second tackle, we have a dummy half scoot there. It was a really kick by Wax. Mm, um, mm. The space was there. Maybe the better option would have been to put it along the ground and try and set it up in that corner there, but the Auckland boys just managed to hold on to it. The Auckland boys 
a tough road to try and get the ball out of their, their danger zone right now. Eddie Purcell getting wide, they're spinning the ball, oh! Went back, the referee saying the ball's gone back from uh, Futu. Uh, what are they, done their final, they wouldn't want to get... Hello, whistle's gone. Back it up for the uh, fifth and final kick. So they've made it just out of their 20, Auckland. So good defence uh, from the Māori, but uh, likewise a good safe play, uh, low risk play from Auckland. They'll put him for the kick. They're going wide. Kick. He's chipped it. He's chipped it in his 20. Uh, you know, I thought it's usually the Māori will flee like that. Why? Uh, yeah, well, Suya Tanuki was sweating up on the inside, so maybe they, they, they spotted a little bit of room back there, but, yeah, no, probably not the right play 20 metres out from your own end goal under a whole lot of pressure now, the Auckland boys. And there's an opportunity for the Māori boys to uh, try and capitalise on, on a poor decision. So they're 10 metres in and they're about 50, or 10 metres out, the Māori's, and it's tackle three. Uh, I play the ball there, we put dummy half, getting the ball out to Moses, he's looking for runners, Hotini. Dion, Smell, uh, Dion Snell hit in the, in the gap there. Ten out and uh, gone back in. He's gone back to the left. And he's in. He's in under the post. Coma Sampson there. That's a classic run from Coma Sampson. Showed that many a time. Not only for the New Zealand Warrior under 20s, but also for the Nora Bears. Um, he is very, very dangerous and he's got great angles. And this time, just with a little bit of support. Um, holds a few players off him from the Auckland side, and he waltzes straight Kumar through for the Sampson. first try for the, for the Māori side. That's a great story too, Komar Sampson, you know, come up through the grades, and uh, uh, like you say, in the Warriors 20, went over there and uh, had, a, had a chance at the Carcassonne Club, and, and uh, with the big castle in, in the south of France, and been back, I think he's been back a week, oh, uh, young Coma. Yeah, and uh, you know, he's going to hook up. He was telling me uh, in the camp that uh, Stacey has made some uh, contact with him and maybe looking to play New South Wales Cup. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's good. And that, that you know, we, we don't know where, the, where our Māori live or what waka they may be coming on, but uh, we get them and, uh, you know, it's a uh, uh, papa and it's uh, based on uh, whānau. And, uh, yeah, but I think put that down to that chip. You know, it was, you know, fifth and final when he licked at the chip when he was 20 metres out, yeah. Paid the price. Yeah, that's. I mean, I don't think um, uh, Raymond Talimali will uh, opt for that sort of option again, even though knowing how good Suel Tanuku is, uh, those execution uh, to take a risky play like that, you know, it's got to be perfect. And, um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, to be fair, I didn't. I didn't realise that Coma uh, was back in the, the thing. I was a little bit surprised to, to see his name down on the, the team sheet. But yeah, I, I followed his journey while he was overseas in France. And, um, but he's, he's looking good. I know you, you enjoyed the experiment, that uh, experience over there. So, um, but, uh, he, uh, he's only he's only 20, 21, I think. Um, Coma. So, you know, hopefully, some big things can come out of it. Yeah, no, that's um, that's exactly. And, and John O'Carl, uh, part of the Point Chief Club, he takes the extras, two points, so six nil. The mile is over the uh, the Auckland side. So uh, we're just looking for another football. Here it comes. Uh, well done to the, uh, the touch and goal man down there. So 6-0 uh, and, and on the back of some good field position from the Māori side that are you know, playing with a bit of flair. Uh, playing with a bit of flair and uh, uh, you know, just sustained pressure, I guess, uh, with 10 minutes gone in the game. So, uh, yeah, it's up to Auckland now. They, uh, they're going to kick deep. They're kicking deep. Uh, kick deep. Good set, man. It's, it's a, uh, I think he's, he's a real talent, Carl Swanson. I, mean, I, I know the story of, of Carlos when he went away to the Sharks. And for another year, yes, yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah un not unfortunately, uh, but you know, Fano Judy's called him back to, to New Zealand. Um, but, um, you know, speaking to a lot of uh, people who, who saw him train and saw him play overseas, um, you know, by all accounts, you know, if, if he was still there, he'd probably be in the, in the first grade squad by now. The Maldives, yeah, they they're just coming into 10 metres in the Auckland, uh, you know, the, you know, there's a typical example of the passion and pride in the Maori jersey. You had a, a standoff like Carlos up and he hitting, up, hitting it up, and they've earned the uh, earned a penalty. That that's that's not good play from the Auckland side on the back of uh, you know the fifth tackle. They've earned a penalty and uh, holding down in the tackle. So uh, so uh, the Maldives, uh, what are they? Good 35 metres out, and they've got a penalty, and it'll be uh, looks like. Uh, Jeremiah Pyrewax to kick the ball down deep into the end goal. Has it gone out? It has, and that's a great kick, about five metres out from the line. So the Auckland side are under pressure, but hey, you know, Auckland side, they've got a lot of pride themselves, and they come from a great comp you know, competition in the Fox. So, you know, their, their defence is going to be asked a question once more. So the Māoris will uh, take the tap. And from touch, so it's uh, past the Wipu, and off we go. 
attribute that penalty down to some hard running from some of those big forwards and trying to fight and play the play the ball. And, you know, now we've got it. Big Tony, is it? Big Tony Tuya? Looking to get the go down. Uh, he's, he's a metre out, right in the centre whanau, right in the, the middle of the goalpost. Whooper goes back to the left through Pai. Looking to second row to, to, to hit the ball up on that side. I think it's Taylor Daniels. So they're coming wide. It comes right out to, uh, to Hutini. His drop off. No, they're not finding its uh, not finding its mark. The ball there from uh, from the Maoris and uh, Machi Stone down up in the line there, and uh, it actually went back. So uh, a bit of a relief of pressure on the Auckland side. So uh, well done to their defence. And uh, you know, as you expect from an Auckland side, they'll, they'll hang in there and they'll stick all day. So it's a, it's going to be a scrum, and they're right on their 20, uh, Auckland, and it'll be uh, Raymond. Uh, Tele Mali to uh, to feed the ball uh, to feed the scrum for the Auckland side. So yeah, the uh, Auckland side have uh, been camped in their 20. So it'd be good to get a little bit of pressure off and uh, get some football. Yeah, a little bit of a poor poor executed play mm, mm, uh, by mm. the Maori boys. I think the, the mm. centre and the winger on this right hand side just need to hold back a little bit if they are going to run that again. Machu Stone Dunn came in the back there and they were just a little bit in front of him. So we can take the ball off the back of the, back of the scrum through the centre footy. No, make him other 35 out now, approaching the 10 metre line on their side of play. Play three. Appealing for a penalty with Auckland with, the, with holding down. And him and Richler hits the ball up and some good body contact. Yeah, that's... Snell and Sampson getting in there and, uh, yeah, getting some good shoulder in the tackle. And they go over halfway now, Auckland. This is good yards by the big Auckland pack. Why oh, they're, uh, you know, they're on the 10 metres of the Māori side. They're coming back to the left and uh, looks like Richler... Uh, yeah, as they do... Mate, they run all day, don't they? Run all day, him and Eddie Purcell. That contact has been felt many a time in the Fox Memorial competition before. Comes we left to Asazi well. and he kicks a kick into the uh, the far corner. Has it gone dead? So it'll be a tap 20. Uh, good seat from Walken though. Good seat, you know, good yards, good good platform laid by the big forwards. And uh, Retzler, Herman there have been real uh, prominent. So it's a, a tap 20 and the Māoris are bringing it out. That's uh, Machu Dunn just uh, making his 10 metres and getting in, giving those forwards a rest. John O'Carl uh, hitting it up and go there on the left-hand side now though. 20 metres in from touch, uh, the Māori side, it's tackle three. They're bringing it back and uh, still carrying on down that left-hand side. Getting very close to the sideline there, Jeremiah Pai. I think we've got a knock on, indicated by the touch judge on that side. So Once again, a little bit of pressure against the Māori boys. Auckland come up with a, another set. Yeah, Coach Henry won't be pleased with that on the third tackle, and uh, you know they, they probably overdid their hand there and went one one too many to the left. But I see Big Tony Tui has uh, been interchanged, and uh, who we got running out there? We've got Trent Bishop, I think. Trent Bishop on the field. Yeah. So that's some some good minutes from the big fella, Tony Tui. Well, Papa Kuro boy, Trent Bishop underneath uh, Richie Blacks' team. Another under twenties Warriors. Player coming through the ranks. Oh, he's not happy with the feed as the uh, the referee, so uh, they're going to reset the scrum and uh, eight metres in the New Zealand Māori half. The Aika uh, team from throughout Aotearoa and uh, yeah, they set deep the back line and they uh, they're looking to go to the to the big centre footy. By the looks at it, plays out of the Mount Albert Club and he's been quite impressive. Big big unit, why? Oh, knock on. Yeah, big unit, but he unfortunately doesn't get an opportunity to get his hands on the ball. Roman, Roman Hifo there, the captain, coming up with the error, trying to pick it up off the back of the scrum and, and feed his, his, uh, his standoff in Kimi Wasi, but straight away turn over. Yeah, so uh, a little bit of relieving pressure on the Māori side, and now they're going to feed the scrum, and uh, yeah, they clear the scrum. Coming out through the centre, out to... Uh, Taking the tackle, driven back in the tackle. 6 0 to the New Zealand Māori here. 40 minutes gone in the game, and they're, uh, they're hitting it up onto the halfway line. Being held down in the tackle. That's Cody Awa from uh, down the south line getting in, giving those Fords a rest. Yeah, he's all over him as the 12 from Auckland, so. Uh, 
you know, you've got to clear that tackle play. You've got to clear that ruck. And once he gives that hill signal, and uh, yeah, he went on with it too long, and uh, uh, the Maoris have earned a, uh, a penalty. Yeah. So uh, they kick out. They're about 30 metres out from the uh, from their try line on the left hand side field, uh, playing to uh, the woods of town, town end. And who's that? Yeah. Going to the post, working to the post, tackle two. Some good yards out of dummy half, Trent Bishop, yeah. Options either side, they're going to go back to the left. Oh, looks like the ball went down in the tackle there. Yeah, Komar Sampson. Had numbers in the tackle, but uh, again, uh, you know, more, how big a part why is the, is the Jew going to play, you think? You know, that um, he fought at the bottom of the scrum there, you know, picking off the ground. But that was just a drop ball, wasn't it? Yeah, drop ball in contact. Uh, that one came with Samson. Well. They're well set up, those forwards, uh, putting together a little play on their own, and having uh, the, the fullback there out the back, Machu Stone, done just really for letting your offloads. But um, as this game goes on a little bit, it's only a little bit dewier to JD. So I, I, I dare say that um, you know, come the second half, there'll be probably a, a little bit of handling area. Yes, I'm talking to, to ruck the ball out there, they're approaching uh, the 20 metre mark and uh, they got the ball from the scrum and they're affecting uh, some, doing some good tackling is the 16 uh, for the Māoris, Samson. Looking, doing the hard yards here. Yeah. At a dummy half and he's just, we've got uh, Roman Heffel hitting the ball up. And, yeah, run all day does... Uh, as Roman and uh, appealing for the penalty. Get up, they get to the kick. He's kicking from his 10. There's a 40 20 rule, is it? Applying tonight. And it. Yeah, that was oh, a it fantastic is. 20. It looks like the old eyes are not what they used to be, the old cut of the wife. I kicked it. Uh, I watched him, mate, just uh, about a metre in front of the. inside his own 40, and it rolled over just inside the 20 metre of the Maori side. So, really well set up there by the Auckland side. Good start, uh, H. Harley. Good start to the to the game, and uh, you know, uh, six nil. Yes, awesome start. Um, the first half by the New Zealand Māori team, but um, after their 14 20 kick, Auckland looking in good position uh, to reply to that scoreboard. Here we go. Here, just out to the left edge. Oh, a loose loose pass there onto the ground. Regathered by number five, JD. Yeah, Sol uh, Solomona from the Point Shiv Power Pirates. The uh, ball did go back, and uh, I agree with uh, referee Wakai's call there. So uh, they are 30 out, are Auckland, and uh, out of the dummy half, they choose to go left. And uh, that's uh, Wetzler uh, hitting the ball up, and uh, they're right, and they go either side there. They've got good field position here, Auckland. They're coming uh, left through uh, Rossi. Yeah, fourth tackle, so uh, looking to go the ball out of dummy half. Spreading the ball through the line. Uh, they're going from left to right. Missed tackle there, and that's a well taken try by uh, the seven, Raymond uh, Talimali from the Manganese Talks. Yeah, just a, um, on the back of that good 40 20 way. Yeah, indeed. Well set up by the Auckland boys. Uh, Talimali taking advantage of a few tired forwards on the inside. A couple of uh, lazy defenders in the end there, JD, but, um, but yeah, put it down to that 40 20. It's a fantastic effort there from Raymond Talimaliere. Kapai, Kapai Piro, te kapo o tāma ki Makaurau. Ai te whakarite, tō rātou kai whana i te poro. Jeez, au hoa mai ki tēnei pō ne, ne wairau. Yeah, so that all uh, that all six four and the the kick he's taking that kick. Can you see that number out there, boy? Number seven, is it? Yeah, the try scorer. Tali Malie. Yeah, he's uh, he's waiting for the tee, and uh, the trainer he's uh, getting the tee over now. So uh, six four kick to come. Could even the scores up with uh, how long we've been playing, boys? We've been. Uh, Oh, yeah, you got a jacket back on. <laughs> 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 
He's placing the ball on the tee. Yeah, only one tee and one ball. 20 minutes. Today, JD, so oh. things are going to be a little bit slow. 20 minutes gone. Setting up for uh, kicks. Yeah, there's another ball I see out in the halfway. Yeah. Trouble ball. New Zealand Māori boys are bored. They always end up at uh, Te Whareikura of Rakaumanga or the Tani Whare Club. And, uh, you know, all your whanaungas and... Harley's for Nangas, you know, they uh, come over home and grab the ball out of the sheet, and even when you're not home. <laughs> it's going to be Tamalai to, to move in. Yeah. Attempt this conversion. No, it's flagged away from the touchy, so the score will. Successful with the conversion. The call, uh, score will remain 6 4 with oh, 20 minutes four, gone. 6 4 Gee, I'll tell you what, JD, Waikato could do with some lighting like this back in, back in the Waikato area. Uh, well, uh, what do you think? If you can talk to uh, your uh, solid energy uh, whanaungas and uh, the energy capital and maybe a couple of trailer loads of coal, we'll be, uh, get some energy, get some, uh, some lighting, but yeah, well done to uh, the Balfour New Republic. So the Māoris kick off and uh, Pai kicks it round deep down into the... The Auckland goal line 10 metres and it's Alu Lupo from the Otara Scorpions Club oh. hitting the ball up and he's over the 20. Not too sure what he's complaining about, JD. The, the lighting that we have when people roll up their cars and just turn on their headlights is perfectly fine, my friend. Yeah. We used to get the odd flat, flat battery, but it didn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Just went home. One corner be dark, but, but yeah, right. losing the ball in the tackle there was human richless. So, uh, yeah, not, not, not a good uh, position to lose the ball. So he lost the ball in the tackle. So that's a scrum. Looks like right on the 20 metre line and about 20 metres in from touch. So it's going to be the Māoris through uh, Hotini uh, to feed the scrum. So, yeah, they're, they're sort of capitalising on, capitalising on each other's errors. Uh, why? Yeah, no. Yeah, Coach, Richie, Richie, Ricky, uh, Coach uh, Richie Blackmore wouldn't be happy with that first set after a try. Uh, completion is always the, the aim. You see John O'Carroll out on the left hand side there advance the full ball forward. You know, it was a good story. I caught up with Richie uh, before the game and, uh, you know, acknowledged him. And he was telling me about the concept that uh, John Acklin and the Auckland Rugby League have got, and got going. And he said, you know, it was, he got his opportunity for playing for Auckland. And look what the man did, you know, and we acknowledge uh, Richie. And so, you know, that, that gives more purpose. But it looks like Hortini going to the line. He's uh, three metres out, tackle three, looking for a play of the ball. The Māori uh, back line is set, set wide. We're going out to, him, uh, to uh, Dylan Moses, spinning in the tackle there was Jeremiah Pye, caught in position. Still loaded up on the left-hand side. Hooker that we put out of dummy half, going to the line. They've got numbers, but again, the execution is not what it should be. Yeah, just a little bit of the execution on those short side plays. Yeah, didn't really have the numbers down there. As the captain, Little Moses, throws a pass that goes a little bit wayward. But um, always looking for opportunities. Carlos Hortonu looks dangerous on this right-hand side. Every time he takes the ball to the line, yeah, carrying it with two hands, he's got options of passing the ball and he's always just sliding through and making half breaks. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him slip through and score a try at some stage. Yeah, most definitely he's got good footwork, good pace, uh, come through our rangatai programs and uh, like you said, uh, did a bit of a stint over there at the, in the Sharks and uh, in the Cronulla and the Shoah. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, good boy, good to see him back out here playing at a senior level for our mind. Well, might be a high tackle, but nah, that wasn't too high, was it? Yes. A lot of complaining from the Auckland side, and they are doing the hard yards out of their. Uh, oh, Ritzler's getting taken taken in the tackle, and Futu again is uh, helping out his forwards. I'm very impressed with this uh, CBC Futu uh, way. Big, strong man. Big, you know. um, some big humans in these seams. Especially in the Auckland side there, JD. Yeah, no, there is. There's, uh, there's plenty of nutrition going on up there uh, in Auckland. And uh, as you would expect, you know, uh, uh, the a population of a league. But uh, we got back down to Talamali and he's uh, put the kick up. It's It's gone high, but it hasn't gone... For, oh, has that been dropped or kicked again? Or no. Has been played it? Final there. Still final? Is he oh, getting yeah. held? Knock on there. Lock it, lost forward. It'll be a handover. So, uh, yes, it's... Um, Yes, it's uh, so Maori's, uh don't know how to play the ball. He's hard up on the sideline, and uh, they'll look to bring the ball in, and it's uh, coming uh, through uh, one off the ruck. 
New Zealand Māori's look to make inroads up the middle. Trent Bishop, yeah, big strong boy. Uh, that's good yardage. That's good yardage. Uh, H, yeah, looking for the next tackle and uh, to go through the hands to Moses. I see. Uh, uh, Mike Nathan's out there from the Te Arawa Club from Wellington. It's going wide, yeah. He's looking for an offload here. Could be dangerous. Yeah, Dion Snell it's taking the ball, yeah. It's Dion Snell gets up and plays the ball, JD. I remember the uh, first time I seen the, the young man uh, <laughs> play football was when we went out and refereed a game in the Hauraki there. Yeah, did right. A good friend of his and a friend of mine, uh, Greg Baggs. And, uh, you know, like those uh, two-wheel motorbikes. And uh, good to see him. Hey, coming back down the left. Oh, just that execution down there, short side of yes. again letting the Māoris down, and um, yeah, it's it's a good story. Uh, Buzz, the the uh, Dion Snell and uh, uh, Formula Howick, and now applying his trade at Mount Albert, and it was great. Uh, been in camp the last couple of days, catching up with him, and he, he's uh, you know very proud to be playing and representing his Fano, Na Pui origin. So uh, uh, I'm yeah, real pleased for him. That's about opportunities that the game gives, eh? So JD, we've been 20 minutes into the. 20 minutes into the first half, maybe. Koi Pelna Toki, Oene, Oene Kapoero, Ite Newa. Who are the danger men uh, putting their hands up at the moment? Well, I'm a vi on this one. I think Hotini, you know, Carlos Hotini, he's, he's looked good with the, the ball in hand. And, and for Auckland, I, I think it's a messy foot too hard. Oh, he's a big, strong, powerful runner. And uh, I'm just glad the game's at night and it's not in the hot sun and a hard track because he, he, he could do some damage. And, you know, he's getting it, putting his hand up to, to give those forwards a rest. Uh, rest and he's pulling, he's proving hard to, to pull down. So it's going to be oh, about on the 20 metre line. It's the Māori's to feed the scrum after uh, Auckland losing the ball in the tackle. And it's going to be. Here he is here. Halton, he receives the ball. Yeah, he's got it in his hands. He's he's coming out to. Oh. The, that's the that's the Dylan Rota. Dylan Rota in the corner. Yeah, that was that was a bit easy. He got on the outside of his man. He he, he fended and uh, he goes in. Uh, scores the try and uh, you know it's and try time. on the back the of that Zealand mistake yeah team, taking the score to 10 to 4 scored by uh, the number 4 Dylan Rota yeah. the conversion to come now to a lot of you know Rota you know that, that's a that's a huge Maori rugby league name the Rota and uh, you know uh, he, he must be the next one out of the uh, Rota production line and yeah, he got some class been scoring some tries this year too they tell me yeah, mate, he's a strong player. He covers a lot of positions up in um, his Mount Albert Lions side. Uh, he's been up, you know, he's been playing fullback at some stages. I've seen him playing in the back row, and um, you know, he's he's fielding a lot um, all over the place. Does Dylan Rosa, but he's he's a fine player. And he's strong too. But, uh, yeah, relative, he, he, once again, just coming off the back of uh, some simple errors uh, from the Auckland side. Mm, out of the uh, that. Uh I'm going to say world famous in, uh, down the coast, uh, uh, Umate, and a little bit of Tainui uh, Whakapapa in there too. And, uh, you know, uh, Umate, haven't they been great, uh, great supporters of our, uh, of our tournaments and, you know, and uh, all those families up there. Like just just Bernie, uh, Bernie and the team and the Piranaras and the Matuas and, you know, great, you know, they are what the Māori tournaments is, you know, it's built on the back of the likes of them and Tuhui and uh, Dylan Lota, you know, gee, that Roger Lota must be his uncle, I think, he, he was a fantastic centre and a great kick, that's, that's a great kick, Jono, Jono Carl, uh, from Point Chev adding the extras and that, that takes it out to 12-4. A successful conversion there yeah. by Jono Carl. Taking the score now to 12-4 to for the New Zealand Māori team. Yes. I think it's going to be a case of why they can minimise those areas, you know, get good field position. I think you know, the side that can control the football is going to hold them in good stead. Yeah, well, we always thought that the battle was going to be up front, and it has been really throughout this game you know, earlier on, but uh, the class of the halves has really been shown on the, on the Māori side. Every time that they get close to the line, um, they're able, able to capitalise on the, on the errors made by the Auckland side, and even though there's been a, you know, a few poor executions uh, to finish off moves, um, they've had the better of it in the first half of the Māori team. So they restart, and it's a good uh, return from the kickoff from uh, Mike Nay from the uh, the eel from uh, Te Aroha. Well, you can really hear the contact being made out there on the fence when these guys are running and colliding with each other. Yes, you mightn't be used to that, uh, Harley, with those uh, contacts and getting those shoulders in the tackle. You know, uh, you know, you've been a legs tackler and all, but uh, no, yeah, there is some good body contact and upper body strength for these guys. Now the Māori's are, they, 
Dear G, Nathan's again getting a touch nice early enough. 30 metres out, and that's some good yardage from the New Zealand Mountain. It's the fifth and final. They're going back down the left-hand side to Jeremiah Pai. He's shoulder dummy. He's throwing it. Has he got there? I think he has. Oh. I think he has. Referee Waikos looking back, pointing to the spot. The ball's gone up in there. We're waiting for it. And the try has been awarded. Wow. Well done, Mike Nathan. The last. That's good yards, Mike Nathan. Uh, two yeah, hit-ups yeah. here, two sets. Yeah. So head up in that set. The New Zealand Maori team, Aloha Mai Fana, Kapo Katoa Kukaru, didn't quite see who scored that try, but it was a fantastic try nonetheless. Taking the score to 16 to 4. Yes. The New Zealand Maori team with the conversion still to come. JD, um, New Zealand Maori saw just marched about 70 metres up the field off their kickoff, and uh, they've been going down the left side a couple of times previous, putting the pass through the um, through the hands, and uh, Jeremiah Point. Friend of mine decides to put a chip through and comes up Trump. I'm pleased you got friends, H. That's good, mate. You know, uh, well, actually, he's a pretty friendly bloke, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that you got a friend, mate. But yes, yeah, been, just, uh, Jeremiah yeah. Poi, we tra um, toured Rarotonga together back in 2006. You know? Yeah. Didn't yeah. quite get the job done over there, but, uh, yeah. Was that for rugby league, or was that? Uh, it was a bit of a mix of rugby league and holiday. But, uh, yeah, good fella, Jeremiah Poi. Good man. Anyway, uh, JD, just before you uh, try and sneak away there, mate, what did you think of the game on uh, Wednesday night? No? Blues no, no, no. and Queensland? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about the Tanifada under 14s. It was a great game. Yeah, played uh, midweek. 18 for the kick from John O'Carl is, is successful. And, uh, yes, uh, yeah, just Auckland side just, uh, you know, Falling off a couple of tackles in there on, on, on the fringes, especially down that right-hand side. The Māoris uh, are hitting that left-hand edge. Well, I'll tell you what, JD, if it's a repeat of the last kickoff, geez, this uh, Auckland team better do something about uh, the defensive line because New Zealand Māoris marched 70 metres up the field the last set. Yeah, I think uh, it's just the enthusiasm of the Māori team now, boys, that's, uh, that's taken over. And I see uh, the Kaidi Piti out there putting the kick in, and he's a quality player. But, you know, our, our game can be quite roof, ruthless if you don't have the position and don't have the football. So, uh, you know, uh, Auckland will be looking to, to put a good set of D. Is, uh, is it Tony Tuia back out there again? A little bit better line speed from the Auckland side this time. Yes. As I see Tony Tuia winding up for another big run, but... Uh, yeah, mate, every time those big forwards from the Māori boys uh, get in, get carried that ball, they're carting it 10, 15 metres every time. It's Auckland boys are on the back foot every time. We see Dion Snell. Yeah, get good tackle, tackle Auckland. But, uh, that's what you need, and that, uh, that's going to lift his side again uh, around, the, around the ruck. And, uh, yeah, good, good tackle by uh, Uasi from Papakura. So that's a good set. So that they've gone another 60 metres and the finishing of kick. It's gone high. It's... Uh, it's going to find some space to kick. Yeah, it's going to find some space if they get the bounce. And yes, uh, a good set. I think why the, the Māori side is just out enthusiasm, out, out, enthusi out uh, enthusiastically uh, <laughs> chasing them. <laughs> They're out <laughs> enthusing, is that a word? Unthus they, unthusing. Yeah, well, I think Auckland might be uninfused. No. <laughs> and uh, this commentator is getting confused. So... <laughs> They're just playing at the game at a bit of pace, aren't they? Yeah, that's what it seems like at the moment. Every time they hit the ball up, they're hitting the ball right at the advantage line. They're getting over the advantage line. Um, you know, it's just bending that Auckland line backwards as we see a little bit of an error there from the Māori boys. And a fine dropout. As Gus Gould would say, no, 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 no. But uh, I'm in their previous set, like I said. You know, New Zealand Māori's marched up again, 60 metres, put a good kick in and forced the, the goal line dropout. Yeah, and a bit of an error there. And there might be a turning point as we are approaching half time, and uh, a little bullet bounces the ball, uh, uh, beating uh, uh, Steon Snell and uh, Cody Owa and, and finding touch. So uh, it'll be Auckland to feed the scrum through uh, Mikari Pete, a good man out of the. I think he played uh, in Hamilton out of the Panthers Club, I do believe. And uh, yeah, they got a bit of position. So uh, a yeah, bit of uh, yeah, bit of relief there for the Auckland side because they need the pull. And there's uh, they're coming up to the halfway. They're hitting the ball down the right hand edge, and uh, a good break. Some good yards, and earning the penalty. Uh, looks like Tony Tuya going on with it in the tackle, and uh, wax. So uh, Auckland, uh, you know, uh, five metres in uh, the multi side of halfway. They'll kick down uh, into the, uh, the corners. And, uh, you know, yeah, Auckland are, Auckland are putting themselves into a good position here uh, to hit back in this game. They're in uh, the 20 now, heading up the middle, make, trying to make inroads up the middle. They're big boys. 
I think we'll we'll see them look to shift back to this right edge uh, as the forwards lead the platform. That's right, and uh, yeah, you can hear those hits going in, Fano. They were on the third tackle out of dummy half, and they're they're only six metres out now from the uh, from their try line. Are the Auckland side? They've got good field position. They're coming, continue to come to the left. They're going putting the ball through the hands, oh. and he's lost the ball. Oh. This is again eh, that execution. Yep. That turnover, so letting the uh, the Maoris off, and now they'll look to ruck the ball out from uh, off their try line. I'm um, not quite sure where our statistic man uh, TPD Noda is. I, I, I think, think he's, he's, he's uh, taking a break and heading to KFC, I think, mate. Okay. Now stats and looking at the turnover and time and position, but. Oh, Auckland's got the ball back. Yeah, turned it over the Maori, so, uh, you know, it's a slippery bit out there, and uh, BD goes into Dummy Half, and uh, the ball goes spread to the right, and it looks like it could be. Yeah. Oh, he could be hauled up. It could be a try. I think he's going to ward it. He's going back, and who's getting up with the ball there? Auckland. Yeah. by the number two for the Auckland side there, Corey Sita. Bringing the score now to 18 to 8 with the conversion to come. Yeah, Corey Sita there. Pakia from, uh, from the Maris Club. Corey Sita. Okay. Fine player. Apparently, he's been an Auckland, Auckland sprint champ in his time. JD's just indicated that there will be five minutes before uh, half time. That will bring the Auckland side up 8 to 18. Uh, with a kick come from right on the sideline. Looks like Malier again will take that kick. It's on the back of that uh, goal and drop out um, why, when the, the ball was allowed to bounce and fine touch and Auckland uh, drove to the... Uh, Drove to the uh, to the line and then a couple of turnovers and then Sita was able to go over in the corner. So that that'll give them a little bit of hope and a bit of heart and uh, a very capable side. You don't want to turn the ball over too many times off your goal line, off your own goal line to the uh, to the Auckland side because they'll make you pay. They're a quality side. No, you know you don't want to do it ever. JD, ten metres out from your own try line, turn the ball over uh, doesn't help. So he's coming in for the kick and it looks good. It looks. Not so good. So it's been flagged away. So that takes the score out to the New Zealand Māori 18, uh, Auckland of 8, with four minutes to play. A couple of interchanges uh, coming on. I see uh, the red head gear of uh, Tamasi Māori uh, from uh, the Maris Club coming back in, uh, in the 9 jersey for Auckland. So, uh, yeah, look to uh, the, the Māoris. Uh, we'll be looking to, to shut out the game and Auckland maybe get one more opportunity down their way. Yeah, they're just trying to restrict the yards for the Auckland boys. So you see him and Ritz laughing another strong carry. Not too sure how many times he's done that this half, but him and Tony Tui are having a good competition on how many... Yes, carries. waiting for the advantage. There is none a high tackle there, and uh, it's, this is not what uh, Coach Ricky Hinn will be wanting, and it's allowing Auckland to uh, to get into the Maldives half. They'll look to kick with two minutes to play, so that's another set. Uh, Finding the ball right on halfway. The ball goes floating past us. So uh, it's going to be Auckland to, to restart the ball, Petey. Passing the ball into uh, Aelupu from uh, Utara, playing the ball. They're on the 10 metres in the uh, in the Māori half. It looks like Herman Ressler again is a 30 out. They're getting a good roll on now, Auckland. They, uh, yes, Petey, I think this is a very important defensive uh, set for the New Zealand Māori. Like uh, Auckland to get too close uh, before the the halftime break. Right, they're going to fall through uh, McCarty Beatty. He's gone out of the tackle. He's spreading the ball wide. They go, oh, it wasn't the best pass, but the lucky bounce, and uh, they, they're still going wide. They're hitting that down that right end edge. And he's in again, is he? Said that no. Looks like he's uh, a meter short. Making a good tackle over there was Jared Tua for the Maldives and a little chip stab to kick into the uh, in goal and uh, going too far. Going down to by the hot dogs there. Is it? I'm just looking there. Is that where that TPD note is? Is that him down there? It looks like it's going to be a tap 20. Yep. Oh, no, drop out. Oh, goal line drop taken deep oh, by the Maldives. Before yeah. the uh, half time whistle, Daddy. Yeah, we've uh, got a little bit of momentum now, the Auckland side. 
big ask for the Māori boys to keep them out for half time, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be looking forward to that half time whistle to try and kill some of this enthusiasm that the Auckland boys have built up. So a big set, a big uh, important you know, turning point of the game. This could be the set. So it's coming down here. and uh, yeah. I was just about to say that they need a big drop kick here to try and put some metres. 20 metres and the they're going to play it. Try, line. try for the penalty is, uh, is the Auckland side. It is the 11 hour Lupu. That's the second tackle. They're four metres out. Uh, looking to sit on the right. A couple of decoy runners in there. It's Big Eddie Purcell uh, hitting the line, but the mighty defence is solid. It's tackle three. Let's come back to the left, the hooker, and do the old dummy half drop off. But uh, now he'll again. The market defence is solid there from the from the mighty side. Tack Hello, tackle four. There's a no, he's caught Hilda. Take him out ten. Uh, I think there's two tackles to play, and uh, see the timekeeper standing up. He's getting the hooter ready. He's, he's going to put his hand on it. So they might be the last chance. What are they going to do? They're going to have a have a go. A little chip kick. Get the pick forward. Purcell's looking uh, on the right there. And uh, it'll be a play the ball. Going to the back line. One to seven. Harley. The siren goes. The tackle is made. And that's half time for Eight and eight. Half time. 18 eight to the New Zealand Maori team. Second half still to come. Once again to our sponsors. Uh, yeah, why will we? Good game of football, entertaining. Of you know, we, uh, we five tries in that first half in the conditions, which is good. But, um, Fano, we're going to go to a break, Fano, and uh, we, when we come back, uh, we'll uh, summarise the uh, the first half and uh, look forward to the second 40 with a game between the New Zealand Māori residents, who are 18, playing the Auckland side that are 8, and uh, the game very much still in the balance. So uh, we'll take a, a five-minute break, and when we come back, uh, we'll resume the uh, the commentary here uh, again acknowledging uh, the live streaming uh, arrangement made by the ARL John Acklin and, and Corey and, and the team uh, good to have them here and uh, uh, you know and, and using their initiative um, allowing uh, the whānau and especially a lot of people up in uh, Tamaki Makoto that can't make it down here to, 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 to take the game in live here on Saturday night from Pukitikuro Park <laughs> 